guys how is it going welcome to the stream how is everybody doing tonight he is live he lives the perfect life thank you so much Bob how you doing guys Milan Tahid Mimi how you guys doing Pirate. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be pirates today. I am joined yet again by our lovely head moderator, Knight. How you doing tonight? Hello, doing pretty good. How about everybody in chat? Oh, thank you, Lisa. Love you guys, too. Yo, what's up? Okay, so first things first, guys. Just let me know if everything looks good to you. Let me know if the audio sounds good. Let me know if everything looks solid. What's up? Playing a water game that isn't Subnautica that's cursed. I know, right? Like it is pretty crazy. I don't I don't know what we're doing over here. If I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, the sound sounds pretty good. I might be a teeny bit loud. A tiny bit loud? You can just doesn't... turn me down a tad on, on Discord, maybe. Just a, okay, a smidgen. Let me, let me do that real quick. Sorry guys, one second. Just figure, figuring out all the kinks. I'm gonna put you down like that, maybe. There we go. Hey, Mini I, I do remember your name, actually. Let's go. Let's go. Bacon plushie for Gamer. Yes, we're gonna have a little plushie segment in the middle. But first, Knight, I, I think you're the expert here, so c can you tell us what we're doing? Okay, uh, we're do we're gonna attempt to do some tall tales. Wait, wait, maybe you can. The... Uh, maybe I put you what? down a little too much. Hold on. Oh, did you? Uh, I think I might have. Oh, you just need to do like five percent on Discord. Is all you really yeah, need to do. I did fifteen, and I really like overestimated. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. All right. Is the bacon okay. peanut cat thing edible? I would not recommend it, but you can try. <laughs> But is it non-talk? Uh, I would, I would not want to find out. Let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, can everyone hear me all right? That's the question. I love you guys too. Thanks, Jam. Yeah, I think everything is looking pretty good. Okay, okay. Uh, so this game is primarily about roaming around and gathering loot, getting uh, gold to get fancy fancy stuff uh like Heck i yeah. changed my outfit this time around it's uh casual <laughs> yeah looks very nice love the um exposed chest very piratey oh and check the leg too legs great oh yeah you have like a what on earth oh it's like the strings of a guitar but a peg leg yeah i yeah. love that yep. okay so we're doing like a story mission right yep we're trying to do the tall tales i personally have only ever done one of them until they added uh, safer seas here, I was never really interested in doing the the story mode too much because I would always get interrupted by other players. So today we're doing safer seas so that we have all the time that we need to uh, <clears throat> struggle with the puzzles. Uh, okay, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. So to how to start it for this one, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's this one right here. Yeah, this one. This dude. Uh, the okay. Right next to him, right on the right-hand side, there's a book. Oh. 
Wait, I just started talking to him. Well, that's fine. He just said you can talk to him. Okay. How are you guys? Oh, you love the last stream. Thank you so much. Baking going live is unheard of. You're not wrong. I've seen plenty of pirates pass through that door. A few become real legends. Well, I want to make a name for myself. Glad to hear. I'm sure you've got what it takes, but you'll need to convince the trading companies. Watch your back out. Okay, there. so book. All right. F. Ooh, okay. The Shroud Breaker. Sounds moment, very intense. You do well to heed my warning, for this is no ordinary voyage you're contemplating. Few pirates have even heard of the shores of gold, let alone seen them with their own eyes. Whoa. They say it's an island riddled with untold riches, ancient secrets, hidden tombs, and deadly traps. But you won't find it on any map, for it was swallowed up by the mists of the Devil's Shroud. This book is the journal well, that doesn't of the sound pirate lord himself. It tells of his first ship, the Magpie's Wing, and the journey he took to find the mythical Shroud Breaker. The only way to part the fog and reach the shores of gold. If you dare to follow in the footsteps of the greatest pirate who ever lived, then take the journal and use it to find the wreck of the Magpie's Wing. I think it holds there. clues to the Shroud Breaker's whereabouts. Bring it to me, and I'll set you on your way to the shores of gold. But don't be fooled. Only the bravest, strongest pirates will make it back alive. <laughs> the mountain I island. Luck. Yes, you're, you're going right. to need it. <laughs> Ahoy, Drew. How you doing? That laugh, though. That laugh. It, honestly, the voice acting is pretty on point. I like it. Okay, so if you hold down your uh, Q key and then hit the spacebar, like yeah. you would finding a voyage, that is where you can find your. Voyage book. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, I'm looking at it. How do I uh, scroll through it? Uh, you tap the E key. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Go okay, and another journey, it. another journal. The shores of gold. Ancients could reach new islands through the mists. A very old chest still gives you totem inside. Animal totem. Keep the Shroud Breaker. Sail to secret places, use, use stones and take Shroud Breaker. Drink. Shores of gold, drink again. That sounds like a plan. Okay, so what are we thinking? This seems pretty complex. Yeah. I will I will let you lead this one. I, I think you got what it takes. Oh, uh, it's fine, it's fine. We can do it together, we can do it together. This thing has a long time to complete. Well, we're gonna go for, you know, a little bit, see how far we can get. Uh, we don't have to. Yeah, it, it has a number of uh, checkpoints. If we can nice. make it to the different checkpoints, it'll be fine. Okay. I mean, you're thinking of getting it with some friends. That seems like a good idea. I mean, from my understanding, the game is still very much like alive and kicking. Yeah, it's a great game. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Hi, hi, Tiger. How is everybody doing tonight? Hope you guys are doing good. Okay, so what's the what's first? Um, okay, so as you're as if you page through the the book, you'll eventually get to a map that shows roughly where the wreck is. It's uh, somewhere between Crook's Hollow and Crooked Mast, so we can get on the boat and head out that direction. Okay, I see the map. Uncharted Isle between those two. Okay, well, uh, shall we? Yep. The first mission is pretty easy. Well. <laughs> We'll see about that. Uh, Knife is the experienced one here. I've probably played like two hours in total, so we'll see. However, as far as Telltale goes, this is the only Telltale I've ever actually done, and it was two years ago. Nice. Uh, so I wouldn't call myself experienced in that sense for, th for today. Okay, I'm going to grab some bananas if that's okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, grab every grab everything. Just because we're on uh, a non-PVP thing doesn't mean we're not going to fight stuff. Uh, that's a fair point. I think my aim is pretty good from last time. Like, it, or pretty good might be an overstatement. My aim is not terrible from last time. Okay, chat. How are we uh, gilding up the boat? What style are we going for? What do you think, guys? What style do we go for? 
going edgy, going merchant style. Don't going... forget your sea glide. Yeah, you're right. How are we doing things? Okay, let's see. I'll I'll tell you the first one that comes through, and that's what we're gonna do. Oh my god, I almost just fell off. No, no, don't, don't make me fall off. Okay. Hey, I think I do remember you. Don't forget your sea glide. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh. Had a t tornado warning earlier. Wow, I hope everything is okay. What do you think we should guild it as? What's your favorite? I've done so many different things. I have full sets. I have random pieces. Merchant style uh, for the sunbeam, says Rango. Okay, merchant style. Is that a, th is that a thing? Okay, let's see. Which right. kind of merchant are we going? Let's see. You uh, got it. Make it look like a sea moth. Now, if that was possible, I absolutely would. When they make the Cyberpunk update to it, that's one. Viva la France. Greetings to France. How are things over there? <laughs> Remember to stay within 5k of the nearest habitat. Yeah, I'll have to keep that in mind. Because I feel like otherwise we can drown pretty easily. Hey, Eggbird, how's it going? The Cyclops, yep. Ugh. Oh crap, I forgot how to climb. How do I grab a ladder? Uh, F. So this time we're having a bit of a smaller boat. Oh, it is very pretty. Is this the merchant, uh, merchant look? Yeah, this is the, uh, Dang. yeah. Dang. It looks very fancy. Look at this, guys. Look at us being all... Blue and gold and white. Typical February weather for Florida. Oh man, um, I I lived in Florida for a year, and the uh, some of the hurricane warnings were freaking terrifying because it was my first time coming in contact with weather like that, and I was scared. So we don't have that where I come from. Good what things. is the weather like where you come from? Uh, it's, I mean, here it's kind of, it's pretty mild. Like I, we we get storms occasionally, but nothing close to a hurricane. Uh, it's usually pretty cloudy, and I mean, in the past couple of years, I've I moved around a lot. Uh, I lived in Florida for a bit. I lived in London for a bit. Uh, Florida definitely had nicer weather. I can tell you that. Detecting multiple Leviathan life forms. God no. Uh, we did did kill a couple of Megalodon. Oh, look at you, you're there. Uh, amazing, this guys. I could barely tell you're there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we did kill a couple of Megalodon sharks last time. Man, I always forget how freaking good the water looks. Guys, can you imagine Subnautica 3 just comes up with like, you know, Unreal 5 looking water that's even better than this. And how freaking cool would that be? How are you doing? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? Uh, just a nice Sunday evening. Chilling, having a bit of Diet Coke on the side. Have you guys had a chance to check out the plush yet? Well, let me tell you, it is freaking cool. I have him sitting right next to me here. I will do a little intermission at some point in the middle of the stream just to show you. But uh, it's been quite the adventure. First time doing merch, it's uh, it's stressful. But I really like it. First playing Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I mean, basically, give or take. I feel like we're missing some of the... Um, some of the big mechanical robots. I always forget, how do you do the uh, emotes? Do you hold down the Z key? Ah, oh, Z, there you go. Oh yeah, I got a nice little, nice little pirate shuffle on me. Okay, so how, let me go check out the map to see kind of how we're faring. I don't know anything about the game, but I kind of want to pretend like I do. Um, yeah, you know where we're going, going, right? Uh I put a marker on the map. It's to the southeast of here. If you want, you can keep us on course. Get some uh, sailing hours under your belt. Uh, okay, so I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the map, but I really can't tell 
out of all the icons, which one is the mark you put down? So if you zoom out. Uh, okay. So how do I zoom out? Are you using that all the way? Okay. Uh, so here. Um, go a little bit to the right. Yeah. Up a little further. A little bit left. Yeah. Oh, see, I see. The, cir the big circle. Yeah, that's where we're going. So if you can get us there. Got it. Okay, is it best to just go in a straight line? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Or should we be like is... following the winds or something? We can't really. A bit. We're going almost against the wind, so there's not much you can do. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we're just say like this, I guess. Yeah. This but is my first time trying to see if there's... Southeast, uh, yeah. It's technically not, but I always take massive breaks in between, so I really don't know much about the game, and I only ever play like an hour at a time. Is it true there are Reapers in the Sea of Thieves? I really hope not. No. I don't think so. I believe that's uh, that's a pretty cool edit that you must have seen. They have Kraken, though. Like, you want to grab the wheel and uh, steer us a little southeast? Sounds good. Um, so, you mean little bit this way, a little bit to port side. Yeah, because as you can see, there's an island ahead of us. We don't want to run into that. Yeah, but that could be a problem. All right, I think we're pointing directly southeast now. Oh, this is the middle marker. Okay, just make sure, yeah, okay. We probably shouldn't be hitting that rock, hopefully. I'm, yeah, I just, I'm gonna center the, uh, the thing. There we go. How many war crimes has the plushie committed? Look, I'm not allowed to say on a record, but off record, way too many. The circle is definitely the creator. It, it might be. When I see a big ship coming down, like burning, we're turning this bad boy around. Hi, making good luck at the sea. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Cool Doe. The SpongeBob lore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have. I hope we have a life pod on this boat in case something goes wrong. Oh, we can always pick one up. Sadly, you gotta add the life pod. Uh, <laughs> dang it. Okay. Let me go check out the map. So again, we're doing some sort of an adventure. I don't really know what it is, but from my understanding, it's like a story mission, right? Yep, and um, it begins here in the totally not crater. Uh, so we are sailing that way. It might take us a little bit to get there. Yeah, this is one of those games that does take some time to just cross it. But it's so atmospheric. And I mean, it looks very pretty. Whoa, and it is laggy too. And maybe I shouldn't have been hosting since I'm also streaming, but I did say my internet is good, so I'm kind of... Uh, I'm suffering. <laughs> I'm suffering from my own success. I might have overestimated. Uh, it's, fine, it's, fine. it's not really a. I was just hoping maybe you'd get a server that was closer to you if that was what happened. Yeah, well, we'll find out. Because last but time you said you lagged anyway. Your bacon plushie has done unspeakable things. It, they can do that, you know? Look, I'm not going to say it moves by itself in the night sometimes. But all I'm going to say is I have found it in places where I didn't leave it before. So, um. But yeah, who doesn't like a bit of haunting in their life? The yeah, quests underwater, it truly is prehistoric Subnautica. Hey guys, so this is what Subnautica used to look like. This is Flat 456 B way back in the day. Before the um, the architect race came on and kicked all of the pirates out. So, what did you just pull up an omelette? <laughs> it's called Pancake Puzzler. I'm, oh, it's a pancake. I was trying to flip a pancake and it, uh, it, it hey, you really flipped that pancake, wow. <laughs> Honestly, a Subnautica 3 being about pirates would kind of be really sick. Imagine, like, future space pirates, though, sailing to, or, like, well, I guess flying to different, um, water planets and, like, you know, doing whatever pirates do, finding the friendship along the way. Oh my god, brother, is that you? This is the real last bacon in the chat. This is crazy, guys. We are the architects. That's a positive thought. It looks like the void. It does look like the void. 
it's it's the kind of dark shade of blue. Now, tell me this, guys. Am I the only one who, like, I absolutely love water and I love swimming, but it really is that feeling when you look down and you cannot see the bottom because it's so deep. That's what gives me, like, the, the unpleasant feeling in my stomach. They can... Whoa. Did you shoot those barrels? Yeah, there was two of them that were explosive. Sick. Um... I don't think I have a gun. Press your two key. I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear I already tried it before for some reason. I guess I messed it up. Alright. Onwards we go. This away. Yeah, back in my day, on that 4546B looked very different. Stuck here and everything. Not yeah, just your casual, you know, fire tornado over there. Nothing to um, worry about. This is just what happens when you're a pirate. Can the bacon plush eat bacon? Would that be considered cannibalism? I mean, technically, it is plushy. The texture is bacon, so I don't know. Um, you see, you know, it's kind of weird. It, it, it holds the snorkel in its mouth, so it doesn't really eat much. But at least it's low maintenance before that. Do you stream on Twitch? Uh, no, I barely even stream on YouTube. This I, I'm just really trying uh, to make this slightly more regular of a thing. Maybe you can once a month stream. Maybe next time we'll play something other than Sea of Thieves. We'll see. If water turns red, you're getting to a secret island. Um, <laughs> if water turns red, I'm turning off the game because that sounds terrifying. That's what happens if you go off the borders. Oh wow, okay. Are there far lines? Just asking for a friend. It's the Red Sea. Pigs are known to resort to cannibalism. Yeah, but we, we um we made sure to train all of the plushies very good, you know? Like, by the time they leave the factory, oh, we're getting close to this rock. By the time they leave the factory, they're, they're all the way trained. So not to get better graphics? Well, they look different. I, I think... I don't like saying better or worse, because both of the games are heavily stylized. I think both of their looks really work for what they are. Like, I wouldn't have Subnautica any other way, though... Like, a hyper-realistic look to something like that could be interesting. Oh, there's a volcano off in the distance. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see the fire. I'm noticing you being... <laughs> Alarm noises. Look out for new quests. We are on a quest right now. Let me... Let me show you what's going on here. We are... Wait, uh, the mark has disappeared. Does that mean we're that close? Shouldn't have disappeared, but I believe we are here. Oh no! Oh, now it's sure. Oh, it's we're right on top of it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So I see an island. What do we do here? Let's go ahead and read up. Let's see. Okay. Should I stop the boat somehow? Because we're still kind of drifting forward. Oh, it's fine. We're fine. All right, Cap. Okay. The, the wreck Reaper now lies Same. at that uncharted isle. In between Crick's Hollow and Crooked Mass. The ship's log sank with the ship. And without it, we can't reclaim the chest. Okay, so we're looking for something here. Alright. Are we looking for a chest or what are we looking for? There's a book here. This isn't okay. the same book, I don't think. But there, there are books on these uh, tall tales that give achievements. Read, what is the Devil's Shroud? Shroud. Finally, a balmy day and a chance to document my research before it all spills out of my head and overboard. Oh, nice. Okay. How do we stay safe in the Devil's Shroud? We all know how dangerous that fog is. It surrounds the Sea of Thieves. Alright. Just gonna skip through that. Floating like island. Uh, bye, Tiger. 
These islands are giving arc vibes. Yeah, you're not wrong. So not go thieves. Yo, it's the mountain island. I, yeah, I, I think it could be, you know, I'm just looking for the gun. Where's the, where's the architect base? What, what are we thinking? I'm still looking. I don't remember, so I'm just as confused as you are right now. Uh, how do you pull out the book again? Uh, it was... Hold Q, and then tap spacebar. Spacebar, here we go. Okay. Let's see. So we're between these two islands. The ship's log sank with the ship. Without it, we can't... So is there a sunken ship we're looking for? It, there does look like there's one off to the left, or over there. You see those birds? I see the birds. That's where we're gonna go then. That could be it. That could be it. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. Let's go check it out. Did you find the, the tree-headed monkey? Uh, not quite. I don't believe we're, we're not doing Monkey Island right now. Should give him chalky milk. You mean the plushie? Uh, it would be very much appreciated, but you might have to wash him uh, after that in the washing machine. Do you want guns in Subnautica? Well, I think yeah. that really depends. Uh, from a game design standpoint, you kind of have to have the game built around either having them or not having them, right? Because it influences so many other systems. I think it could be interesting to give you some options to defend yourself, but it might diminish that kind of you know, hopeless being stuck feeling that the game has been built upon. If you like I can build a submarine, I can build a rifle. <laughs> wait, 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 what? If I can build a submarine, I should be able to make a rifle. I mean, you, you make a fair point. Uh, they made, like, they have a thing in the lore where there was some sort of a massacre and because of that they don't let you build rifles anymore. But, like, it's, at least having some, like, you know, more spears or some underwater stuff could be interesting. I remember seeing mods with with torpedoes. There are, yeah, I mean, you have some torpedoes by, by default in vanilla, but there's more. Okay, so in here, let's see, what does the book say again? Uh, it says, the log sank with the ship, without it we can't reclaim the chest. Another may yet claim the Shroud Breaker. So there should be a chest. Oh god, NFL. Uh, okay. Oh boy. I'm gonna take a deep breath. <laughs> Mercury 2. Hey guys, this is Subnautica 3. How do you like it? Just <laughs> got the preview. Yeah, don't worry about the name Sea of Thieves. That, that has nothing to do with what this really is. I'm gonna take these bananas. I, I guarantee they haven't like gotten spoiled from being underwater. The book is wet. Yeah, there's a skull here. Wrathful King's Bounty Skull. Should I pick that up? Uh, yeah, you can put that on the ship. I've just uh, been grabbing right. everything I see and throwing it out. There's we have that's a, a that's a mean looking skull. Also, this might smush me right here. Let's see. Um, how do I drop it? X key. X, okay, the controls are slightly insane. Love it. Is there Red Sea in this game? Uh, supposedly there is. It's supposed to be the border of the map. Uh, or so the captain says. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... What is the chance I'm gonna drown in here? Moderate. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Alright. I got a big old chest here. And I am taking it home. There's some air in the back of the ship. Yeah, I see it. Alright. I think I lived. Nice. Uh, I don't think I can climb with the chest. I can. Nice. Putting guns in Subnautica is like letting you move in FNAF. Oh wait. Yeah, there are some FNAF games that let you move now, right? 
You once told your friend to go to the void to look under the water and there was a ghost. Uh, you both jumped. Yeah, it's, it, honestly, I never have a good time traveling to the void. There's always just something that happens, even though I'm expecting it. Uh, you know how it is. If you hear it <laughs> all before, gun with constant commands. Very clever. You know, I feel like that's the kind of stuff that used to work in the past, but everybody these days is just just too literate when it comes to like, computer stuff. So unless you're um, talking to somebody who's, who like doesn't use a computer that much, that stuff just doesn't work anymore. It used to be so much fun, too. Okay, so I put this big old chest up here. I see it, yeah. Um, is that what we were looking for? I don't believe so, no. That's actually one of the new loot items that they added to the game in Season 11 here. Hola, how's it going? Como estas? I, have, I, I just speak a little bit of Spanish. Uh, but there should be a chest here, according to the book. Oh, there's mermaids. Uh, is that good or bad? Bad. <laughs> Bad. Okay, I'm getting out of this water. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. I think there's sirens, but okay. Tomato, tomato, get me out of the water either way. Should I shoot them? Yeah. Okay. This is, see, you guys, this is how you introduce yourself to a foreign species. Okay, that was Nicely it. done. Is there a battle pass in this game? I don't know. Is there a battle pass? There is. Yeah. There is. I mean, it makes sense. I'm pretty sure there are battle passes in almost every live service game. It's the Sea Voyager. You're right. It is the Sea Voyager. It actually kind of looks like it. Subnautica okay, we'll are right. subtubers. Heck yeah. I like it. Go back to the island and look around it, says Chris. So, are, were we not supposed to come here? No, no, I didn't see anything on the island, so I wasn't sure. Okay, let me l quickly read up the book again. Uh, maybe we missed something. Because this is definitely the wreck, and it says it sank with the ship log. Sank with it. Oh, we're looking for the, sh the ship's log. Yeah, but I didn't find that either. Okay. And then, on the island itself... Mm. It doesn't say anything. We wish you could buy the plushie. Yeah, I understand, man. Uh, I'm sorry about the shipping costs for some of you guys. Unfortunately, I can't do anything to control those. They are pretty high for some people. I've heard they can get ridiculous if you live uh, uh, far, like Australia or whatever. So, I'm sorry about that. I, w I wish I could change it. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, the Chiefs or the 49ers? Unfortunately, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't, um, I don't really watch sports that much. Uh, I love doing sports. Um, I love climbing, for instance, and swimming. It's, it is under the water. Well, I mean, I guess there's much, but... Okay, well, where would it be? Would it be here, maybe? Under the boat. Oh, under the boat, they say. Okay, let me look under the boat. I'm on it, chief. Thank you, YouTuber man. Let's go look under the boat. Oh, under the boat, there is just the deep blue. Oh, and I'm being attacked by something. More sirens. Okay. Don't need to waste that shot. Boy, they're really going at it now. Yeah, yeah. I think it's supposed to be on like a chair, but I don't see it. There's no captain's chair. Oh, we're here, at the bro. wrong wreck. People are saying. Oh, wrong wreck. Oh dear. Uh, that you know that could explain why we're not finding anything here. Yeah. Let me look, no, sure. <laughs> Let me look if there is a. Wreck. Oh my God! What on earth? What did okay. they just get hurt by? They they shoot. They have projectiles. Yeah. Okay, can we get out of here? Yeah, it's fine. They're not that dangerous. 
Okay, let's look to where we need to go. Let's head to the right. Let's go back to the island, maybe. Um, I feel like that might be a good idea. It seems like we must have missed something here. Okay, the plushie wing brings you to this video. Wait, really? Did I, did I mess up? I think it's because there's a... He put the links right next to each other. Oh, if maybe. maybe. The one uh, there should be board. a link pinned on top of the chat. Um, that can take you to the plushie if you haven't checked it out yet. Forget the Super Bowl. Who you got for the puppy bow? Now, I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure I want to know what that is. But if it's like a competition for, for who has the cutest puppy, I would support that. Okay, go back to the island, go under the water, and you will find it, says Chris. All right, Chris. You know, you sound like a commander who knows what you're doing, so we're gonna do that. That's funny. That's the one that won't work. Yo, could you try the uh, the link in on top of the chat? See if it works or if I messed it up. Uh, we'll see. Hey, bacon. Here. Do you have any room in your inventory for food? Uh, I think so. Wait, no, uh, it's just full. Okay, well, eat one or we'll eat one of the one things. It's like eat a banana, and then take this. Yep. Yeah, one sec. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Thank Go you. ahead and eat it. Okay. Eat it. I'm just chomping on it raw. Nice. Hey. I yeah. see what they mean now. They mean this one right here. Oh yeah. Okay. That makes that makes a lot more sense. An under unmarked the, wreck. Under the boat, they said as well. So. Looking for the captain. I found it. I found the log right up here. Nice. Good job. Thank you guys so much. I think you under the boat on top of one chat. Of oh, okay. Uh, I can replace the one on top of chat. Uh, give me two seconds, guys. I'll I'll fix that right now. Uh, let me see if I can fix it real quick here. Make a new message. Go. Now let's see if I can pin it now. This one should work. I think, guys. Let's see. Okay. There it is. Alright. We should be back. We should be back. No, thank you so much, Gamer Duck. Yeah, that, that's my bad. I was kind of setting everything up last minute. Probably just got the wrong link in there. Calorie intake recommended. Yeah, that's why we ate the fish. Okay, so we got that thing. Uh, what's next? Okay, check the book. Let's check the book. Um, without it, we can't reclaim the chest. Well, uh, do we have the log? Oh, there we go. The ship's log. Anchoring down on the north side of the Discovery Ridge. Captain's gone ashore. The burning blade. We are fleeing to the northeast. Passing a huge island. Continuing northeast. Dropping chest in the water is just west of a small island. Heading southeast. Laying in a new course east. The burning blade is gaining. It will soon catch us. Oh my god, do we have to follow that? Yep. Okay, so I'll read out the stuff. Are you looking at the map? Uh, yeah. If you want to actually get on the boat first, though. Oh yeah, it's, it's a good idea. Let's see if we can figure this out. I was live streaming and the Aurora didn't explode. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, here I am. Look at this old book. Okay, right. you said northeast? Okay, yeah, so we said anchoring down on the north side of Discovery Ridge. North um, side of Discovery Ridge, okay. Okay, then it says, uh, we are fleeing to the northeast. They are turning to the north. Whoops. Oh, 
ammo Uh, that's probably not good, is it? That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna close up this. Delicious bacon. You've been watching since 2018. Oh my god, thank you so much. That is really amazing. Thank you very kindly. Dang, 2018, man. You're one of the OGs. Good times. The northeast of Discovery Ridge. That's way over there, though. Hey, one sec. I, I, I'm not. I, I, there's more instructions. Um, okay, so. Uh, passing a huge island, continuing northeast. Okay. Th they say. Okay. Um, are you are you with me so far? Yep. I know dropping where we chest are. in dropping chest in the waters just west of a small island. Heading southeast. Okay. Yep. And then it says coming up on a chain of islands, laying in new course east. Uh, so let's go find the chest though first. So that was yeah, dropping chest in the waters just west of a small island. Yeah, it would be probably next to chicken. Okay. Let's go then. Heck yeah, we're on a quest. I like it. I kind of like that they let you just figure it out, you know, there's not like a big old map marker or whatever. Crazy OG. It is a bucket. And there's more. And I love the fortress too, man. Ship was saved. It's the Reaper. Man, if that was a Reaper attacking us, I would be uninstalling so dang hard. Like, I I, I just want to take a break from Subnautica for two hours a week to stream some Sea of Thieves and I still get attacked by Reapers. That's like the ultimate punishment. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Bad Fish. That really means a lot. You're, you're the legend, Mr. Mysterious. Thank you so much. You've been watching since the Doki Doki Literature Club streams. Man, that is a crazy long time ago. Uh, that takes me that takes me back. I remember those were like the first streams where there was like more people watching. I think in one of those streams we had like it was like 25 or 30 people watching, and I had such bad stage fright. I was really really nervous because back then the videos were getting like maybe. You know, 500 views if it was a good video. Crossed games to chase you, oh my god. I swear to god, when the Subnautica uh, Sea of Thieves crossover comes, I'll be here for it. You just be right, like, how dare you abandon us? Yeah, yeah. You know how sometimes when you attack them, they will chase you all the way to the safe shallows? Well, now they've chased me all the way to a different game. I've been watching since the Subnautica videos, the very first ones. Dang, that's also a really long, like a really long time ago. Because I did the initial playthrough back when it was still being updated, and then I stopped, and I didn't do Subnautica for quite a while before coming back to it. Uh, can I do some uh, Billows Real Lore bits? I could. I've already done uh, a bunch. Um, the thing about those was just that. Um, and I'll be honest, it, the Billow Zero videos, uh, there's just not that much demand for them, unfortunately. Not. Like, whenever um, I do a regular Subnautica video, like a challenge or something, you know, it will get X amount of views and X amount of engagement. And if I do the same for Billow Zero, it will get maybe one tenth of that. And like, that game is just, it seems people are a lot less interested in it. That's why I don't cover it quite as much. Go for the guard, for, going for the guard, boys. Now that would be an epic battle. There was no need for stage fright. Thank you. It was just, yeah. I mean, I was, I was so new to this still. Like, I was used to, you know, getting a couple hundred views, maybe having like ten people watch the stream. So, yeah, things changed quickly. Which tale is this? Uh, what was this one called again? Um, Shroud Breaker. Shroud Breaker. Very epic. It sounds like something you'd get in Warframe, like a weapon. Yeah, honestly, it's not too dissimilar to that. Yeah, so like, I do really think it's underrated, but you know, it's... I think it's one of those games that a lot of people know. Um, 
even though I, I think not a lot of people would, you know, your your average consumer. I'm not talking about fans. We're gonna hit a rock. Are we? In about oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> oh god I'm never gonna fix this shit. Uh, just me talking to chat, getting completely distracted from what the heck we're doing. Oh, it's very foggy. It sure got foggy, yeah. That's why I, I could I didn't even see the rock until it like emerged right in front of us. Uh, will I play Power Um I don't know, it's not really my style of game. I just splashed the water on myself for me. <laughs> That's just like full on like tip the bucket over my head. Well, nice. Yeah, you can put yourself out that way if you're on fire. Right, okay. I can wait for Sabrina to be hopefully do something cool with Unreal 5. I'm sure they will. I mean, uh, I work as a I work as a game developer, and I'm working with Unreal Engine 5 right now um, for about you know eight hours a day, uh, five days a week, and uh, I, I really like the engine. I, I I personally much prefer it over Unity, but that's just my personal bias coming through. Look to the right. Uh, there's a big old cloud. Chicken Isle. Oh, that, could that be it? This is the island we're looking for, I believe. Okay, let's see. So the the book says, "Chest in the waters, just west of a small island." So let's just kind of park ourselves just west of it and look for a chest. I mean, I see a chest on the shore. You see it? Yeah, that is a uh, just an ammo restock chest. These guys are so glowy and dangerous looking. Uh, there seems to be another something floating in here. Just having someone reply to you when you're in live chat feels so good. I mean, I feel like that's what it's for. I, I don't know. I really, I understand that when it comes to big streamers, um, it's difficult. How far should we go from the island, by the way? I thought the tiny thing was the island. Could be. Just west of could mean anywhere. That's fair, but I imagine it's going to be pretty close to shore, right? And if they dropped it off, it's probably going to be underwater. Probably. That's kind of my guess. She trolled me twice. Dang you, YouTuber man. Hitting name though. Yeah, please don't spam the chat though. Uh, just, you know, let everybody have a fair chance to talk. Should play the uh, Red Plague mod. Yeah, I, I do want to uh, check it out. Um, I will have to figure out who to reach out for to be able to get my hands on it, but uh, luckily I, I happen to know a bunch of people in the modding community, so I should be able to get, get my hands on it. I gotta go, that's all good. Thank you so much for showing up, Gamer Duck. Now, let's go check this out. Uh, well, yeet. Okay. Now, let me... get my hands on the compass here. So this way is east, so... Yeah, this is the west side of the island. Uh, you discovered a treasure, is that it? No. What tail? Uh, I believe it was Shroudbreaker. You said it was called. Yeah, it's called Shroudbreaker. Shroudbreaker. All right, bat. Okay, what's over here? Right, just a bunch of rocks. How long have you been uh, playing Sea of Thieves? Um, not long at all. This is, I mean, this is like my third time playing. Uh, I don't really know much about the game. I'm usually here just for the good vibes. And you know? that is the uh, the skilled captain. Only a driving the ship. I want to go check out this chest. Just because it... I don't know, it looks cool. Have I played Soma? Yeah, there are some videos on the channel. I didn't quite get um, around to finishing it. I But I do love the game. I should still finish it too. Okay, so what are the chances we're in the wrong place? 
Uh, there's a chance that it's just the 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 east of this particular place, because it also mentioned a chain of islands, which is the next set of islands over. Yeah, but it said that uh, the chain of islands is after they dropped off the chest. Yeah. That's why I thought it was here. Subnautica in the 1700s. Yeah, me too. It would make sense that it's here. It, it is. You're right. I dare to use the trident against your friend. Oh, that's evil. I would not do that to him. It, it's really scary. Yeah, it's spooky in the water. Okay, but this is the western side of the island. I'm not seeing uh, a chest here. I'll climb on board and try to look around with my binoculars a bit. Am I in an online lobby? Uh, yep. We're out here with uh, our chief mod knight. From the, you guys, I might think he know. means if we're on high seas. In that case, no. Oh, okay. In that case, no. Sorry, I don't really know what I'm talking about. In case that <laughs> <laughs> it's not very clear. Um, I'm just, I'm just, I just pretend to know what I'm talking about. Also goes for all of my videos. Bacon quiz time. What does that mean? Um, I fortunately, unfortunately, I do not know. Can you mod on Xbox? Um, not, you know, with the vanilla Xbox operating system, as far as I know. It might be possible if you do some sort of a, you know, jailbreak-esque setup on the system, but I, I'm pretty sure that voids your warranty, and you probably shouldn't be doing it unless you know exactly what you're doing. Oh, oh, gee, we might do uh, like a public game at some point. I was thinking, uh, maybe at some point later um, this month, we could do a stream like that, and maybe, just maybe, and don't tell this to anybody, guys. This is just for you who are in the stream now. But maybe we could do a plushy giveaway. But um, you know, that, that's that, that's for later. And, and you didn't hear it from me, you know. I never said that. Uh, you didn't know I did live streams? Well, to be honest, I don't really do live streams that often. I'm just trying to kind of get into it now, make it like a monthly thing. Uh, we did one just during the Christmas break, and now we're back. I inspired you to make Subnautica content, you now have 33 subs? That's amazing, dude. Congratulations. Can jailbreak the PS5? I mean, I suppose, well, in... In theory, you could jailbreak just about any operating system on any device um, if you know what you're doing and if the tools are available. I want to go to your chicken island too. Oh man. Maybe next time, maybe next time. You gotta go underwater and then use the binoculars. Does that work? Hey, yo, what's up? I'm the reason you started so not again. It's amazing. Uh, were you about to hit that island? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so it could also be this island, is what you're saying. Yeah, this is the chain of islands. Okay. Yeah, we are on their western side. Pretty much west is right behind where I'm looking right now, so... Yeah. Hey, look, there's a boat. We can get that uh, life pod you wanted. <laughs> Guys, we can get a life pod. Let's go. I can never escape. Even when I'm not playing Subnautica, I'm basically playing Subnautica. Love you so much, and I think you're the best. Thank you so much, Lisa, for the very generous donation. I really, really appreciate it. That's extremely kind of you. Thank you. Whoops, I burnt my meat. Guys, if you want to, uh, if you want to show support as well, please go check out the plush. I'll do a little intermission in like 10 minutes or something. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll hop on cam, I'll show you the plushie, show you my son, my only child. Um, and, but yeah, if, if you want to show support, that would be the absolute world, but thank you, Lisa. Uh, a dono, a dono is crazy. That is a massive Lisa W. Can we get some Lisa W's in the chat? Thank you, guys. Let's celebrate. This is a very generous donation. I'm gonna hop off for the life pod. Now, it looks a little different than the Subnautica one, but... Heck, who am I to judge? 
sit in seat. Bet. I don't have uh, anything to roll with. Okay, yeah, you gotta sit in the other seat. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Uh. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Just come up and uh, smack the back end of this ship. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Turn it. Oh. There we go. Let's go. Guys, we have a life pod. Look at that. Ah, oh, thank you for the W's. You guys are awesome. Warning: Entry in ecological dead zone. Heck yes. Do you have dreams about Samotica? I'm not gonna lie, I've had a few nightmares about Samotica. Just like being out there in the void with with no life pod, no boat, just kind of swimming. Yeah, that stuff gives that, that stuff is the stuff of nightmares. Honestly, I, I feel like we were right with the chicken island. I'm not gonna lie, this this does not feel right. What do, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, okay. go ahead and just uh, send the ship forward a bit. I'm just gonna inspect this area. All right, I got you. Yeah, it's a little rough. I think this this is one of their very first uh, tales that they ever made, so it probably wasn't very intuitive. They based their um, uh, their shipment missions off of uh, the notes. And I think they were done a little bit better. Hmm. Okay, I see. Something is chasing you. Uh, not to um, <laughs> not to make you uh, feel panicked, but there yeah, is something chasing it. you. Fair enough. Also, I thought I stopped the boat, but oh, never mind. The sail was still a little bit open. Yeah, it's fine. You can go all the way to the other island. Unless you get I'll, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. I don't know. If you if you leave, then I can get the the mermaid and I will get teleported to the ship. All right, bet. Let me go figure out. Yeah, I want to go back to Chicken Isle. That really felt right. I think that's what we're supposed to, to be. That's where we're supposed to be. If it's called Chicken Island, where are the chickens? That you're asking good questions. You're asking very, very prudent questions. I don't want French music. I'm not sure about that. Heck yeah, you're a Giga Chad Lisa. One time you had a dream about Sonic, and I think, okay, I'm not gonna read the rest of that, but that sounds like a wild dream. <laughs> If you played Sea of Thieves long enough, do you think you'd ever reach the Pirate Legends? Or are you scared of the Forsaken creatures? Um, I think I might reach them, but yes, I am terrified. I like any anytime somebody says Forsaken creature, it might just be me, but it kind of carries a slight negative connotation with it. Like it might be dangerous. All right, this is the um, the fabled Chicken Island. Yep. Because if it looks, if you look on the map, it's shaped like a trick chicken wing. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a chicken leg. Drumstick. Right. Yeah. Drumstick. That's what Lovely. I'm saying. Come on. Hey yo. I'm doing it anyways. Yeah, that's. That, that's pretty much me with everything in Samadgar. Like, is it a bad idea? Yes. How are we doing it anyways? Yes. Hey. Nice. Yeah, I killed the skellies. My aim is... Could be better, but you know, we're getting there. Soon find out nothing will stop it. Oh man, okay, now I'm scared. Okay, so somebody said underwater, use the binoculars. I will try that. I mean, it, it sounds kind of crazy, but. Heck. So 
So you can use the binoculars in the water, but it's not really revealing much. I feel like it would be kind of more obvious if it was here. Can you get, can you get struck by lightning? I have yeah. no clue. Yes, you can. But I imagine if a pig gets struck, it will get turned into a pig. We go back to Chicken Island and look for a grub of seaweed. You would, you're expecting the island to be inhabited by chickens. Well, it kind of is. Look at this little, look at these little uh, color, colorful birds. Alright, um, so uh, grub of seaweed is what we're looking for. Yeah, so we're just looking for the white glint if it's just by itself somewhere. He's really going to the dead zone. Start diving. Alright, bet. Okay, there is some seaweed right here. And some right here. Okay, so it's not here. Some more seaweed down here. Alright, nothing down here either. The water gets really deep here. You still love this game, Bacon. Uh, not anymore? Chest is glittering. Okay. That makes sense. So we're looking for a little bit of a sparkle in our lives. Maybe this is where this would come into come handy. I don't see anything there. Let me just double check that I'm still west. I am. I think I'm headed too far north. You think I'm too far north? No, I am. Oh. How big made a plushie. Yeah, that, that seems sharp. about right. Uh, 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 uh. No dice so far. I'm gonna explore this whole side of the island. Um, a group of seaweed under the island. The seaweed is pretty deep. You know, chickens are one of the closest living relatives to the T Rex. Is that right? I mean, I know birds are generally pretty closely uh, related to some of the dinosaurs, but a chicken and a T Rex is pretty wild. I really don't like how the land just drops off here. How freaking scary is that? Oh no, a shark. Have you gone to the Red Sea? If not, you must in order to f uh, fulfill the pirate position. It is essential. What island are you on? We're on the chicken island. We're looking for a, a bit of treasure in the Shroud Breaker um, story. And I, I believe we tracked a chest that should be here, but like west of the island. And I'm about as west of the island as you can be. Um, like you see, the, the island is pretty much east of me. But maybe it's further that away. You can help. What is the book saying? So, okay, let me let me pull it up here. Maybe we can get some help from chat. Um, if I can. Well, yeah. So basically, we follow these instructions, right? So. Um, they're, they were fleeing northeast from where we were. They passed a huge island, which we passed, continuing northeast, and then they dropped the chest in the waters just west of a small island, and then headed southeast from there. Um, and then they came up on a chain of islands, which is southeast from now. So all the descriptions seem to match this place. Your plush has been uncomfortably touched. Okay. I. I sh don't know if I should be worried. <laughs> I don't want to know what that means. Okay, wait. You guys, you guys want to see me with my uh, with my bacon plush son? You get oh, my oh, this is a shark. Okay, wait. I'm gonna get to shore. <laughs> get to shore and I'll show you guys my son. Oh my god. 
Okay, so he may have been holding an exploding barrel. I may have shot it without looking at it. Um, the Chain of Islands is referencing Snake Island. Yeah, that's the one street uh, east of it. Okay. Zombie blows up. Oh no, anyway. Um, is that our ship? No, oh, that's a different ship in the distance. Yeah, this okay, is wait, guys. Hold up, hold up. I'll, I'll show you my, my child here. Let me pause this. You can keep looking for the, the treasure for the base. Yeah, um, I found a chest, but it's not the right chest. Gotcha. Hold up. Let's see. I don't have my camera set up very nicely, uh, but it will have to do. Hey guys, how are we doing? Hey everyone! Look, it's it's my son, my one and only child. Uh, it's it's been quite the process to get it out the door. It took like a few months, that kind of, of a back and forth with the company that I'm working with to get uh, these little things manufactured. Uh, but here they are. They're perfectly round. They feel like a bacon peanut, which is why I keep calling them that. Uh, we're on the wrong islands, is it possible? Well, crap. Uh, at least I have a cute child, though. You know, that's that's something. And the glasses do come completely off, by the way, or the goggles. You can uh, take these all the way off if you want to. I'm, I'm not going to, because uh, then I would have to put them back on. The snorkel does not come out. It is, like, properly embedded in the mouth. The child has come. The legends are true, guys. If you want a child of your own, I'm getting eaten by something in the game. Uh, if you guys want a child of your own, there's a link pinned in the chat. It would mean the absolute world if you checked it out. Uh, I apologize for the shipping price. It is a little steep right now. Unfortunately, can't do anything about that. But, uh, you know, I, I think they're very cool. And it's kind of interactable. We have that moving piece in it. When we were making it, I really wanted to make it a little bit more interesting uh, than just like your usual plushie which doesn't really do anything. That was the most scary part of the live stream. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, so... You're on a lot... Wait, wait, wait. He says, you're supposed to be... You're supposed to go to the Fool's Lagoon. Fool's Lagoon is... We had to go from Discovery Ridge. Bulls Lagoon is nowhere. <laughs> Your child would not be pleased about having to share. That's that's understandable. How much is he? So it should be uh, around thirty dollars, uh, but that's kind of the base price. Again, it, it tends to vary greatly ba uh, on, based on you know where you live. If you live like in like Australia or something, it can be pretty expensive. I heard the shipping price there is crazy. Unfortunately, I, I can't really do anything about it. Yeah. You're still waiting for the credits. Can you kiss the baking peanut? You can kiss it as much as you want. Uh, when you get one, uh, you can snuggle with it. It can be a shelf decoration. They're very cool, guys. So, you know, if, you, if you're on the fence, Please go check them out there. Super cool. We need a hundred orders for them to go into uh, into production to be made. You know, if we don't get a hundred orders, no worries. All of the money will be refunded, but they will uh, not be manufactured. It's kind of the requirement of the company I'm part of. Tomorrow you will shave your head. Oh, how come? Yeah, the, so originally there was a bit of confusion because in some of the earlier posts I said we need 200 orders. Uh, that was the original plan, but since then um, I was in a talk with the company and they said 100 is sufficient to get them made. So 100 should be good enough. Um, so are we going to the other place now? Yeah, we're going to the other place. So it can, according to Google, it can be any of the three islands in this area. Oh really? It's uh, randomized. Yeah, well, it, it, there's even more of them. There's six different options that it can be. Good lord. But based off of where we are, this is kind of the options. With cancer, oh man, I'm so sorry. Uh, if, if that really is the case, 
then I wish you the absolute best. And I'm, I'm sure you can get through it, mate. Just stay strong, keep your head up, and you can absolutely beat it. Wait a sec, why are there two bacons? It, it, it is it is a little confusing. <laughs> it's a little sus. It's like I'm talking to myself. Fool's Lagoon. Alright, and it, the note said west, so let us head west. Yeah. It should be just below the waterline. Not too deep, but like deep enough that it's not in a shallow area. Gotcha. Um, right now we're at, I believe, around 40 orders. Um, we have up until the 23rd of February. So we have, you know, just under uh, three weeks to get to 100. You guys have been doing absolutely incredible so far. Oh, yeah, I see the glint already. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you so much, chat. You guys are absolutely brilliant. Impossible Gaming, you're, you're an absolute legend. There it is. Okay, let's get it back to ship. Yep, found it. I'm gonna carry it up this ladder here. Alright. What we got? Okay. What, what, what do we get from that? You get this, this totem right here. That's cool. Okay, let's check the and instructions more then. Are these islands? The cave scarab hides near the island's tears. Uh. Okay, so if in this, if we need to go to that center island. Yeah. The tiers look that. like th those could be islands right below, right? Let's see. The, the cave scare pipes near the islands tiers. I mean, the two little ones below look a bit like tiers, maybe shape wise. And then there's like a symbol. There's a totem. I mean, the totem we have it symbolizes like the the, the three marks of some sort. So I guess we're gonna be looking for those symbols. Okay, so we're just going to Thank you, Lisa. Doing God's work. I just turned what tale. We're doing Shroud Breaker. A very epic sounding tale. I think, I mean, my just completely random intuition is that those islands below look like tears. Also, I mean, tears fall down, right? This is south. Kind of makes sense in my head. Probably not what the designers intended, but we'll find out. Moved from one water game to another. You're not wrong. Shred, shred breaker indeed. Sounds very epic. I also love the backdrop of the storm in the distance. I wonder, is there a VR version of Sea of Thieves? I do not know. <laughs> it could be kind of cool. Uh, it's uh, Impossible Gaming says it's Crook's Hollow. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's the biggest island in the area. Is it the one we're uh, right next to? Um, not quite right next to, but the one after that. Okay. Bet. There is not a VR version. That's unfortunate. I mean, I understand that the biggest problem with VR. I mean, I've worked on a couple of VR games, and the biggest problem is always how to not make your player nauseous. And I feel like putting them on a bobbing ship is. Um, it's a surefire recipe to get a lot of people throwing up. You drew a, a fan made self for some argument, that's awesome. When you get into the storm, the waves are gigantic. That sounds awesome, that sounds epic. Gonna be right back, no worries mate, no worries. Oh, thank you so much, the last bacon. It's weird, it's like I'm thinking myself. <laughs> You're a pirate legend in the game. It's so fun, but can be grindy and rage-inducing. I honestly feel like any game, it, you know, it's the, the old meme. It's like any game that you have a lot of hours in is probably a game that you kind of hate already. 
It's like I've been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege recently, and let me tell you, that is like the most like stress-inducing game ever. Uh, and yet, you know, I play it to relax, quote unquote. Do you think Sea of Thieves is worth buying just for the PVE content? Uh, what do you think, Knight? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. There's a decent amount of stories, but it plays best with friends. It might be a little expensive for that, but it's on Game Pass, too. So. Uh, but do you think it would be good for, like, you know, play, doing PvE with friends? Maybe you get a group of two or three people together and just do one of the stories? $40 so. might be a little high for that. Okay. Um, it is on Game Pass, so if you're kind of unsure uh, and you're down to try, like, you know, I, I believe Game Pass is like a one month free kind of deal, you could try it there. Getting some Sweat Lord jumping and absolutely watching the floor in the yard. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, probably not. You make, a, you make a very valid point. The drunk, have they drunk Grog yet? Not yet, not yet, that's coming. Have you ever played Call of Duty? Man, I grew up with Call of Duty. And that used to be my stuff. Like, when I was in high school, uh, dude, and then in, even in elementary, uh, I mean, I remember Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Those were the days. Those were the, I have more hours in that game than I care to admit. And like the lobbies were an absolute mess, you know. It was there was <laughs> cheaters everywhere. The, you had to you had to mute everybody because everybody's just like screaming insults and stuff over each other. But that hit different. It's hard to say. Like if I had to say my favorite Call of Duty, I would say Call of Duty Two. It's very old school, but it was it's the first Call of Duty I ever played, and it just holds a special place in my heart. Um, other than that, I also really love uh, Black, uh, Black Ops and World at War. Actually. But yeah, I played almost all of the earlier Call of Duties. I dropped off um, in the last couple of years just because I didn't love the new release as much. Uh, have I tried Halo Infinite or Titanfall 2? Uh, I tried Halo Infinite. Hey, look, it's a mech. That's a Kraken, guys. Hey, look at that. It's, it is a Leviathan. Oh, no, I mean, it's a Megalodon, not the... yeah. Okay, so right. It is Big a Leviathan, though. Okay. I'm guessing it's not gonna swing close to the islands, right? No, we're safe. So I, I tried a bit of Halo Infinite, but I haven't played any other Halo game before, and I didn't, and I didn't have anybody else to play with, so I didn't put in too many hours. You're, uh, you're gonna want to go into the cave at the bottom of the island. All right. That's basically right there. Yeah, that's why I parked here. Nice. Oh God, it's the guard. It really is. It was actually the gargantuan leviathan. No kidding. What fort are we doing? No fort. We're doing the um, shroud breaker quest line. Wait, I only have one map. Like, uh, it's gonna be some shooting. The sea dragon. It, it, honestly, it did look like the sea dragon with the dorsal fin. Okay, full ammo. Let's go. Practice uh, my shooting skills There's a bit. There's a different colored boat over here. Oh, really? That was a snake. I don't like that. Doesn't seem friendly. It's green. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to go into the caves. So let's head in. Yeah, we're looking for the scarab symbol. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna guess it's right going here. This way. Right? You see this right here? Wait, wait. I see it. Yeah, I see it. Jesus, that the range on that thing is crazy. I have to go into water. I'm on fire. <laughs> no. All right. I really did not think that barrel had that much explosive range. Uh, what is my Discord? Um, it should be in the description. Uh, you should be able to join from the description. 
of the live stream or, or any video. Uh, the game reminds you of Raft. Yeah, I can see that. I played a bit of Raft with um, Salvner on stream, the uh, Subnautica speedrunner. What goes on here? I think it went too far. Uh, there is a symbol here of two lizards. I don't think that's what we're looking for. Probably not. Can you tell us a creepy pasta? Uh, I am actually working on one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the next video or the one after, but it will come eventually. Wait, there's something here. A read mysterious journal. You think that could be it? Yeah, read it. Uh, untamable greed consumed former pirates, transforming them into a deathless form. Uh, that's a different quest, it seems. Yeah. Here, I think it's still that. I think it's still here. I just gotta remember exactly which wall. To it's the right on. of the picture, you place the scarab totem. The right of the picture. Okay, can you play? Can we place it here? I'm trying to figure out where exactly it places down. Usually, there's a spot. I almost took your head off. <laughs> uh, can we not just like plop it here somewhere? Or, or, or do you think it's like a designated spot for it? There's a designated spot if it opens something. Oh, next to the picture of the beetle, you place the scarab totem is uh, what Impossible Gaming says. Right, but like there's no platform for it. Like there are all the other vaults. Uh, well, there's something here. Maybe here? Maybe here? It's a totem needed to unlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. There we Let's go. go. When am I going to make more bits than so much? That's a good question. Maybe I should make more. Take a seat. Yo, look at this. This is a standard looking vault. Um, raise lantern to light brazier. Uh, is this filling with water? It looks like it is. Yeah. Now we have to do the puzzle. Oh, well, that's Which great. Um, it's the same. Okay, so the puzzle says... So we're looking for a symbol of... Uh, those three. They yeah, look all the same. Yeah, we just want three identical ones, uh, it seems. The ones which... Uh, Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, these. these ones. We want uh, three of these, right? Like that. No, no, I had, the far left one needs to be the one I had it on. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. One more. No, one more. Oh, never mind, you're right, you're right. That was low. Okay. Looks small. Yeah, that's easy. Didn't seem to wait, work. wait, no, it's the upper one, not the low bottom one. So those guys need these need to be the guys with the swords. Okay. So like this. Oh, it's a certain order, I see. One, two, three. Yeah. Got it. It's like this. There we go. Yeah, easy enough. And then we go to the second one, which is three waves and then Okay, the I'll change the I'll start changing the from the right. Yeah, three guys. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We're getting it done. There should be three waves. There should be three waves and boats. And oh, then crap. You're right, you're right. That's it. Okay. Nice. And then one dude hold or the, yeah, the, the item. Yeah, three guys and... and yeah. good okay there you go something is happening yeah we're getting somewhere it's pretty good water hey we did it look at this you can see something here it's a preview of that rock that we were at all right let's go to the rock uh three guys holding up a sword yep 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 
Okay, so we have to dig here, I presume. Yeah, right in front of it. Right here. This guy's resilient. Oh, nice. I'm out of ammo. Well, it was nice when it lasted. Uh, pick up Scarab Medallion. Yeah, Lovely. Scarab Medallion. Now, what do we do with the Scarab Medallion? Let's see, did the book update? No. Um, is there another platform we can place it on, maybe? Double check the book. How you want to place CFDs as well? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, gotta place- oh, we gotta place that in the vault. That makes sense. Okay, let's go do that. Yeah, I thought we were like, that. Oh, it's kind of weird that we're already done with the vault. There's three slots on the vault. Oh yeah, also this is going to show us different picks, maybe. Okay, this is... Um, well, I don't really know what this is. Looks like right next to the waterfall. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go there. Play on the slots in the platform. Yep, yep, yep. We got it. Uh, so somewhere in here, maybe? Where was it exactly? Uh, I think right here. Ish. Like in this place. Maybe not. I feel like you're a little too far away. Maybe. Maybe this isn't the. Maybe I am. Oh boy. That scared me. Yeah, it's it's really close to the water. It's like right next to the book. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's this Kelly. Yeah, you're right. There's actually no bush on here. Uh, is this the red waterfall? Could there be another waterfall? I don't believe so. The head in the shot. It looked at it right here. So it's either back here. I found it. Oh, nice. Let's go. Oh, it's behind the waterfall. Gotcha. Right, I'm running away. Um, they might be chasing me. Uh, thank you for the help, guys. You're really helping us push through this. Uh, the last one is by, like, a stone face on a rock. Somewhere on the beach. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah, somewhere up, I reckon. Face. We might have to climb a little bit. These snakes. Skellies. There's a lot of skellies, guys. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Alright, Mr. Man. Uh, cool it down a little bit. Yeah, we don't want to get into any uh, trouble with YouTube demonetization. Uh, any luck? Not yet. Honestly, I don't remember that face like at all. Oh, I think I found it. It's right where I am. Okay, go ahead and dig it up and grab the thing. Got it. Oh boy. Can I? Alright. Whew, these skeletons are something else. Okay. Let's go. We tried to play Subnautica multiplayer. Uh, I mean, I did back in the day. Uh, there's that one video I did with. Uh, Speedy, Salvador, and Aki. That was a ton of fun. It was a while ago, too. I might- I, maybe I should go back. See how different it is now. 
Climbing the floating island. It does feel like that. You're not wrong. Hey, air. How's it going? Again, guys, if you if you find it in you and you want to check out the plush, it is pinned at the top of the um, top of the chest. Oh, hello there, Mister. You got a little medallion here. A wall opener. And it's another totem? Oh no, Shroud Breaker. Th that's it, right? Yep, this is the Shroud Breaker. Ah, oh, so we finished the quest. Yep. By the way, or the first part of it anyway. Uh, you nice. can grab the seat. You can actually take this on our ship. The stool. Oh, really? Okay, I can take it. Oh dear. Hold on. Don't go out there. Uh, why not? Oh, right, okay. Good throw. If you were doing your completely in 30 minutes. Yeah, I, I, I bet. I, I just have no idea what I'm doing, honestly. But I am carrying a stool. Oh, I'll uh, stay away from all that. Thank you very much. As a skeleton chasing me, guys. Skeleton bird chasing me. I'm not gonna look back, you know, as long as you don't look back, it's not there. Okay, it's still there. It's still very much there. <laughs> You're gonna stream snipe. Ah, oh, that would be funny. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, I need to go down. Uh, okay, I'm gonna Skyrim this. That's fine. Ah, uh, skeletons everywhere. Good grief. Where's our boat? Oh my god, it is literally skeletons everywhere. Why am I I chose the absolute worst path? Oh, get me to our ship. There's like an army behind me. The guy's shooting. What on earth? I should play Lethal Company. Now that sounds like fun. That could be a fun stream. I've yet to play that game. I tried it. Oh yeah, how did you like it? Uh, I mean, the, the main part of it is it, it takes the friends. Your friends make the experience. The game itself is whatever. Gotcha. Well, okay, I think this is a pretty good place for us to uh, to take to to wrap up for today, right? What do you say with the story and all? It's like a natural I break. So. I think we have to place this somewhere to get the checkpoint. I'll figure it out. Okay, wait. I'll uh, refill my ammo and I'll kill the skeletons in the meanwhile. Okay. I don't actually remember how you get the checkpoint. There we go. They are tempted for the stool. Yeah, man, to be fair, I would be too. It's a good stool. It's like IKEA quality. Alright, let's get some more ammo. Go, really destroying these skeletons. Oh, we gotta return it to. Them. Okay, we gotta return it to the the dude who started the quest. That's the only last bit. Okay, that sounds good. Dang, I'm almost done with these skeletons. One more. There we go. Got them all. Nice. Uh, you have to give it to the mysterious stranger. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. We'll see that. Okay. Did you find the One Piece? Uh, like in the anime? Like in the anime. Actually, I've I've never read or watched One Piece. I don't I don't even really know what it's about. I mean, I know it's about like uh, there are some pirate themes in there, but that's all I know. Yeah, sadly I have not either. Oh look, a skeleton ship. Skeleton ship? It's shooting at us. Captain, they're shooting at us.
Do I prefer Subnautica or Sea of Thieves? Well, I know so much more about Subnautica, it's not really a fair question, I think. I would say that, but then again, like, I really haven't played Sea of Thieves that much, so. I mean, also conceptually, I, I like the scary elements of Subnautica a lot. I don't think the pistol is going to do anything, but I just I feel like contributing. Oh, do we need somebody to patch up the bottom? Okay. Well, uh, is there a cannon? Fire there? away. Did you stock up on cannonballs? No, I don't think so. Take a few. Nice and done. Yeah, I, I have to get hold of me possible. Yep, yep. It's a it's a problem. Like I'm honestly one of those people that like in an RPG, even if I already have way more loot than I know what to do, with, I just can't help myself. I still have to pick up everything and like, try to sell it. It's a real problem. Too high. Oh my god. Ow. Of course they hit right where I'm standing. Fixing our hull, fixing our hull. Uh, we seem to be taking on a bit of water, but I can't get myself from the flare. That's uh, fine. I'm gonna throw a flare at them because I'm having fun. Yeah, you let, you let them know what's up. None of these shenanigans and RCs. I put the bucket over myself again. Nice. Nice. We're doing stuff. Hit sub button for the last bacon. Thank you very much. You're doing God's work. Let's get the 4D audio. Climb into the cannon and launch yourself at them. I love your style. That's definitely viable. Uh, are we heading to the island on the left here? Yes. Nice. Pretty, pretty close, guys. Pretty close. I feel like we did kind of good today. We, I actually feel like we got stuff done. And these guys are still on our tail. How's that possible? Awesome? I'll be patching up the ship. Whew. That zoomed right past me. Oh my god. They're really shooting at us. There you go. R and G. Yeah, I'm trying try my best to close the the holes. Yep. Uh, holding Q to bring up the radial. Yeah, I, I figured that out for the bucket. Getting so many ads on my own screen, it's actually pretty impressive. Crushing our ship scale. I like how bloodthirsty you guys get. It's the, it's the pirate way, you know, it makes me feel the same way. Uh, I have no food left. Oh. Do we happen to have any food anywhere? There should be food. Oh, let me see. There's a bunch of planks here. Food barrel, here we go. Um, numb on some of these bananas. Warning, ex external hull damage detected. Exactly. Are they still shooting at us? Yes, they are. Bro, you cannot be seen. It's fine, just ignore it. <laughs> just ignore it. I'm gonna destroy this ship. Oh, 
how much more can they, their ship take? I shot them like 25 times. <laughs> you gotta aim uh, low. Heck yeah, Rango. Uh, what's a good game recommendation? Go for it. Oh, almost got it, yeah. Use torpedoes. See, now you're thinking. Where are the crash fish when you need them? Actually, just kidding. I, I don't think I've ever needed crash fish. Whoa. What incarnation? And shot over the cliff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These guys don't give up. Freaking skeletons, man. The weakness is fire. That makes sense. Alright, I think this is a good stopping off point. What do you say? Uh, you want to grab the uh, quest item and put it in? Then you can do that. Sure. Uh, the quest item yeah. is... Here, here. Take that. Oh, got it. Go up to the uh, the tavern and just talk to the mysterious guy. Yes, sir. Alright, boys. Let's go wrap this one up. It's kind of like Subnautica makes it see if these are natural selection. Well, I'll look into it. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh... Or is the mysterious guy? There he is. Great Ramsey's ghost. We found. I him. heard all the stories, but to actually hold the shroud breaker in my hands, I never thought I'd see the day. Me neither. Something's wrong. There should be four jewels set in the base that grant the shroud breaker its power, but they've been removed. Without the background them, sounds as well. You won't last five minutes in that fog. Now let me think. I did Thank hear you so much, that Ranger. Captain Brixie made it to the shores of gold. If that's true, she might know the whereabouts of these missing stones. Not that she'd ever say. Sometimes, right. even the best pirates fall victim to their greed or hatred, and it changes them. Just Strips the, the flesh the from their bones, gives them power, Man. but twists them up inside. Brixie is one such abomination. Well, that sounds lovely. People Reminds me of uh, Amnesia. Lords, and most pirates flee at their approach. Understandably. Not even the Order of Souls dares challenge them, and right Thank you so much, Impossible but Gaming. You really, really appreciate that. are going to have to hunt one down. I have eyes and ears across the Sea of Thieves. If you gather any of the missing pieces, I'll see them restored to the Shroudbreaker on your behalf. Okay, For sounds now, good. Head to plunder outpost and speak with Madame Olivia about Briggsy's whereabouts. Remember, skeleton lords are not to be taken lightly. I don't think I would ever take something that's called or somebody that's called a skeleton lord. It's just that I would not be worried about that. Uh, will I watch your stream tomorrow? Maybe if I have the time. Unfortunately, I'm super busy most days. Instead of a I'm getting shot by cannonballs <laughs> because I have a full-time job as well um, on top of just, you know, doing YouTube. So I usually don't have a lot of free time in the day, but I think this is a pretty good time to wrap up. What do you say? Yeah, sounds good. Let me, uh, let me switch out here to myself. Hey guys, this is a little bacon jump scare. Sorry about my hair. I just washed it before the stream and my camera setup is pretty terrible. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. This is my bacony son. Uh, if you uh, haven't had the opportunity to check out the plush, please consider doing it. Uh, it is super cool, and um, we need a hundred orders to you know, get these into production. I apologize for the steep shipping price; it's it's really high. But unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, but still, it has freaking goggles that come off. Like, how dope is that? Um, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This was a super fun stream. Like I said, um, we'll try to make this a bit more of a regular thing. Maybe, you know, once a month or once every couple of weeks based on how I have time. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm looking down, it's because I have the stream chat on my phone. Uh, it's the peanut. Yes, have a lovely day. You have a lovely day too. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. I hope you had a really lovely time and I'll see you in the next one, yeah? See ya. Okay. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time. Let's wrap this one up, then. Cool, cool.